How beautiful you are, O Virgin of Christ, who were worthy to receive the Lord's crown, the crown of perpetual virginity. Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us not fall to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you remarkably endowed St. Mary Margaret, so that we may come to know that love of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, be utterly filled with your fullness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, we are sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten stringed lyre, chant his praises. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the Lord, who has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please rise. Alleluia. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Alleluia. 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 Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another afoot, underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the living, that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who after killing has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Maayong aga sa inyo tanan. Ang uh, ininga gospel has been distorted for for quite some time, especially para sa mga chismusa ng mga tao. No? Masis na ito, tanawa ba lang? Kundi, nagwagin no? ang kamaturan. Kaya ang pinaba ni Cristo. Wala sa ginatago na hindi pahayag. Kaya wala sa, may gina, wala sa mga sikrito na hindi pag-buyag-yag. Pero hindi mo sa mga chismuso, ito mga chismusa, yung buyag-yag nila ang sikrito sa iban. <laughs> you see? Now, this is, that is a distortion. That's why sometimes, whenever I hear a, a, a secret that was known, and they would say, you see, wala ang isang wala, wala ang isang ginamos na hindi matago ang baho. I am really appalled and shall we say, disgusted by it. It's, it's so disgusting for me. Nga ako, because number one, St. Paul has been very, very clear. Gossiping destroys the body, the community of believers. It is a... Uh, in one of the vivid imagery that I encountered in the Gospel, those who are gossip-mongering are actually compared, I think it was St. Paul also, no, my memory betrays me, having sores on their mouths with, filled with pus, something like that. Was it, uh, was it Paul or, some, or another church father who said that? Ang mga nagkutso-kutso, ang mga tao na nagkutso-kutso, daw may mga ano sila, daw may mga sores, nung ilunggong sores man, yung mga pilas-pilas ang bakba, nga napunan sa na-na. That is the imagery of one of the, I forgot na whether it was Paul or a church father that I encountered in one of his writings. Pero ang muna siya, gani kung magkutso-kutso ka mo or kita. Imagino natin ang bakba natin napunan sa katol. Kaya na ang katol, naganignig sa na-na. Amo ina ang itsura sa kutsokotsira o kung kutsokotsiro. Why is it so? Because as I said, St. Paul has been clear about this. Now, this, I am sure of this. In one of his letters, St. Paul has been saying that gossip destroys the community. Now, this gospel about the revealing of the truth is not about the secrets of other people that you will have to convey to others. St. Francis of Assisi, in fact, 
in his charity, in his utmost charity, in his profound love for the brethren, would even tell us that if you have no courage to speak these things in front of the person you're talking about, do not talk about this at his back. And another version is, kung wala ka sang kaiso sa paghambal sini sa imuutod, sa tubangan sa sini misa, hindi mo siya paghambalon sa mga butang na nanungod sa iya nga wala diri siya sa atubang nato sa sininga lamisa. That's how they value people. And here in the gospel, in the context of the gospel, it's very clear here in the context of the gospel that this is not about secrets in general. No, this is not about secrets in general. It's a really a distorted interpretation telling that this is about secrets in general, especially the personal secrets. No, what the, the secret that is being mentioned here is up, the secret that is being mentioned here, those whispers in the darkness that being mentioned here, those whispers behind closed doors is actually referring to the gospel. Nga mo ng conclusion. Because the next part of the, of the gospel tells us about martyrdom, martyria. So, the first part, therefore, is connected to the second part. And what is that secret that, will, that can kill you in the context of the, of the gospel of Luke? It's not a secret of other people. It is actually the good news, which at this time in their fear, they are just talking about inside closed doors. Because they are afraid to go out and proclaim it openly. Because if you proclaim it openly, you will be killed and persecuted at the very least. So you see, my dear friends, what Jesus is trying to talk about here in the context of the, of the entire reading is that good news which, is, which started with, with a whisper. The good news that is just shared with, among friends. But later on, no one can stop the power of the word of God that those started with small whispers will eventually become too loud. Eventually, that which is only kept among the disciples will eventually be proclaimed among all the peoples. At the cost, and what is the cost? Well, very simple, the, the cost is their lives. Proclaiming the gospel cost the apostles their lives. And that is what Jesus is trying to tell us here in this gospel. Okay, so sa kabuhi natin, ano yung ato na kabuhi? Anong ato niya ako? Actually, if we are going to cliff this uh, gospel, what is being shown here, Tani, is is a lesson to proclaim what is true despite all dangers. That is the very obvious conclusion of this gospel. To proclaim what is true even if it is at the cost of your lives. And many people, both in the old, the olden times and at the present, are doing this, no? We have heard a lot of, well, previously we have heard a lot of, pe of people, activists, who for whatever ideologies they have or whatever principles they are standing for, were killed. By whom? I do not know. But we just find them that they were, they were murdered. Even at the sidewalk, going home from their work. A lot of them, no? A lot of uh, defenders of, of farmers, for example, or of workers' rights got killed in the previous 
minds. No? Well, that's one thing. That's one conclusion. But all, not all of us, but on the other hand, not all of us are like that. And we are not supposed to be like that. Not all of us are called to become martyrs. Diba sa mga mga father, mga kwa mga kami, masigitan mga kami ito para makatakson kita? Ay hindi ah. That is not the conclusion of the gospel. On the other hand, the implication of this for us ordinary people who have no courage to, or calling either to speak about this contentious issues, the very least that we can do is this, that our presence, that our words brings life, not death. Amo na ginagawa the very least that we can do. The very least that we can do is that our words, that our conversations brings life rather than death. And as I've been mentioning, gossiping is actually very, very little, very dangerous because it kills the person's integrity without due without due process and without due recourse how can a person defend himself of accusations tikabay pa ng mga kulturan in this you know in these difficult times that we are living in the reality of the covid-19 pandemic is still with us let us be sources of inspirations instead of sources of fake news let us be sources of hope instead of despair and may the good Lord bless us. Let us now offer prayers to the Lord as we say, Loving Father, cast out our fears. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That our church leaders may not be discouraged by the trials and challenge of renewal, but be more committed and zealous in bringing about change and conversion in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ, may be strengthened and sustained by their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That we Christians may find joy in our faith, even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears that those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may experience the healing comfort of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That the faithful departed may reap the, the rewards of their labor. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. Father of all times and seasons, give us courage and strength that we may persevere in doing good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and the blessed and the Virgin, Saint Mary Margaret, we, may, we humbly implore your majesty that as her emirates are pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise and the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore. This gives you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them and do fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Saint Sebastian, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Canuxol, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father. And the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet the Christ, the Lord.
Let us pray. Renewed by the partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord, our God, that by the example of Saint Mary Margaret, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Please all kneel for the Oratio Imperata. Oratio Imperata. God of our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rob. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.